Hey everybody, welcome back to another creative tutorial. Today we're going to go over Creative 5.2 and some updates to the layers. Not anything super major, just some quick um, updates that can make life a little bit easier, which is always the goal when you want um, updates coming your way. So here we have this file with multiple layers, nothing is grouped. So you can see right away when I go to the layer stalker and I click on it, you can see this checkbox here. So we see that the layer is active ver uh, via the blue outline, but we also see it via the checkbox. It's basically saying, yes, this layer is selected. Now, the reason that's important is if I go to shift select, I can see all the layers that are selected, right? And you can see I have multiple ones active. I can also click on the checkbox and add them manually. So if I want to do anything, I now can say, hey, I have all these layers selected. I want to make changes to these selections. In the past, you had to group layers to do this. I'll actually make it um, pretty simple to see with these two layers. So if we have the checkbox, we can select the two color layers, go to our transform and move it around. I don't have to group them anymore. Um, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and make a selection. I can hit the delete key. So even though I'm on two different color layers, I've now deleted color information from them both. This applies to any layer that I'm on. Do the same for the line art layer. You can delete so all the lines are gone. If I want to transform a selection, let's say I'm just going to transform this here. We'll do something crazy. We'll do the perspective. Oops. There we go. So now I have changed the perspective a little bit here on two layers of line art without having to group them. Which is pretty nice. So that just kind of speeds up the process and removes the need to constantly group layers, especially when you're sketching. Because so if you're just sketching out and you're just kind of like getting an idea down, you don't really want to waste time grouping your all of your sketch layers and then, you know, making changes and all this other stuff. This really speeds up that process. So another thing going on with the layers, oh, and before I go further for this setting, um, you can actually take that off. So if it bothers you, you don't really care for it, you don't want to see it, you can take that off um, your layers docker via the checkbox for selecting layers. Another thing that they've done, if you go to settings, configure Krita, with a select layer and our left button. So here we have select from menu. Now, if we click on that, you have select all layers, top layer, and from menu. Select all layers, you know, whatever you're selecting will be there. So if I go to select all layers and I do our left button, I have to hit OK. You can see this layer icon that shows up by my mouse is going to select everything that I'm clicking. So it's not going to like delete or remove that selection. It's going to keep adding to it. If I go back to configure Krita then select layer go to add to selection same thing i can keep adding to my selection green in there here we go and that's just for the topmost layer so if i go and select the green here i'm going to zoom in and if i hit r and i go to the where this like magic -y line blurred line is you can see it's not selecting the, the main color layer of the character it's selecting the topmost layer okay so i didn't realize that these had changed position so i'm putting the r left button back to select from menu i don't know why it shifted um the order of these two but it did so make sure when you're changing this to, uh, the r left button that you're actually on this one it didn't like re change the order of those two inputs not sure why i did that all right so hit okay once we got that fixed so back to hitting r you see that layer icon shows up on my mouse if i click on a part of the illustration that i know multiple layers overlap you can see that krita is acknowledging yes there are two layers in this section that you just clicked so i have paint layer seven and paint layer one in an ideal world you would have these layers named properly so you know which is which but for the sake of a tutorial, we can kind of see here 
what's going on. Seven is going to be this glowy dot and one is going to be the main color of the character. So this is really helpful and I know I'm going to be using that because like I said, when you have multi-layered illustrations or whatever it is you're doing in Krita, it can be kind of frustrating to scroll through the layers docker and there have been times where I just want to like, I, I will start merging layers <laughs> because it's getting ridiculous. So this actually can help um, eliminate a little bit of headaches by making sure, hey, I want to select the main paint layer. All right, I can do that. It's selected. I can just go back about my day and color or whatever it is I'm doing and finish what it is that needs to be done. All right, so that's basically it for the main updates for the layers in Krita. There are a couple other things that were changed and updated and I will go over those in a different video. I still have to make sure I understand it properly before I go sharing it with you because sometimes the documentation isn't updated or it's not clear in their release notes. <laughs> so I want to make sure I have it all set in stone before I go making videos about it. All right, if you have any questions about the updates to the layers, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to address them and answer them. If you have anything you want me to go over in Creator 5.2 that I haven't gone over in my beta video or that you want me to do next, let me know as well. There's quite a bit of things that were changed in here, um, a lot of backend stuff and bugs, but I want to try and go over a lot of the primary features that were updated that I think were going to be helpful to most of you. All right, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video, and I will see you in the next one.